Welcome to Watkins Wildlife, and today we're going to be talking about milk snakes. This is my milk snake milkshake, my Honduran milk snake. And I will be talking about their enclosure, what they eat, and information for this amazing pet snake. So, to start off with this enclosure, it should be 20 to 30 gallons, and they're going to need aspen um, mulch for snakes, and they are going to need three hides a water bowl, and also a heat mat. Also for, um, for what they eat, they eat mice and that's it, just mice. And they can eat live or dead. For information for this amazing pet snake, these guys are one of the best beginner snakes due to being easy to care for. And for handleability, these guys are pretty active and like fast so you're gonna need to watch out for that and also they are amazing eaters because they are, are a type of king snake or used to be a species of king snake until they got several subspecies in with them but since they are a king snake that means that they're amazing eaters and those just if you smell like food they'll just bite you by accident they'll just start chewing on your finger and it doesn't hurt and I might break some blood but it it's just gonna really surprise you and that's why it's kind of harder to handle than most snakes because they're very fast and maybe they might bite you also they are a Batesian mimic and what Batesian mimics are they basically mimic other they mimic venomous snakes and in this case, the coral snake, which is a highly venomous snake. And these guys are not venomous themselves. Also, they are going to, the reason why they're called milk snakes is not because, well, first of all, why would you think they called milk snakes? Not because of their color, but really because farmers used to think that they stole milk from the cows. And so they just named them the milk snake. And overall, these snakes, um, they general, generally stay small, and that's great about them. I got the largest species of milk snake, which is the Honduran milk snake, which gets five feet, but that's still relatively small because they're also skinny. But overall, these snakes make great snake pets. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and let me try waving. See you on the next one.